Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of no, 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 Seven Days to Die. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, "Hang on, whoa, Tormenta, what's going on? I, this, this isn't like Night of the Dead. Why, why aren't you uploading Night of the Dead? What's going on?" And um, yeah, 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 I mean, you're right. <laughs> this isn't Night of the Dead. So this is my Seven Days to Die series, and. You're probably saying, well, why on earth are you uploading a video of that right now? We're all here to watch Night of the Dead, and you're uploading something else. So, first up, I have... You know, there's there are a small but not insignificant group of people that were watching my Seven Days to Die series. Um, and not only... Have I not posted one for a while? The chances of me posting another one after this, sadly, everybody is going to get even less. I mean, it, it it takes a lot of hours to get to each blood moon. So the chances of me getting another blood moon for you to watch are getting small. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is probably going to be the last blood moon for quite some time and as far as night of the dead is concerned right i'm pushing out currently around two or three videos a day and the downside to that is oops i just fell off my stairs is the fact that i'm i'm at a point at the moment a crossroads with that series where i have to try and decide what i'm going to do if I'm going to keep going and just last as many nights as I possibly can, then that's okay, but it's going to be, it's going to need a lot of running around and I'm going to need to think more than just, you know, an, an hour to have a quick bite to eat before I try and film the next one about what kind of strategy am I going to employ to last not just like one or two more nights but something substantial the second thing is on that series is we're also in a current spiral of diminishing returns on there whereby i'm struggling to utilize what resources i have to make advancements on our base i need more resources i don't mean just like you know wood and stuff i mean you know the copper and and interesting resources that can make a world of difference on that base and me to go out and find time to do that is it's gonna get tough and i'm gonna have to think long and hard about how much time i spend defending that base and upgrading that base so the reason i'm playing this right now is also to give a chance for those of you who watch this to realize that i'm having an extra couple of hours tonight to think about my next strategy on night of the dead because my other option my other strategy is do i now that i've got as far as i've got and we can see that i'm on diminishing returns do i go for escape in the island do i try and like get off the island after all this time or do we just stay and just see like and ride it out now let's quickly talk about that last point the riding it out point if i ride it out and, and I, I do apologize for my seven days to die fans that you, <laughs> you come here now and you're what you're listening to me ramble on about a different game you're probably there thinking hey what's, what's going on like i didn't, didn't come here to listen to about seven about uh night of the dead but hey um so what i was gonna say is yes uh i have another option and that other option is not inspiring me right now and that is the fact that i believe from what i've tested out so far i can probably indefinitely outrun every horde unless those hordes get faster and not just harder i'm not sure they can win 
I think I can outrun every one of those hordes by some tactical use of the terrain, intelligent use of my stamina, and to group them behind me so that I've always got that. You know, I'm not trying to run into a horde, but with the current speed that I have from all of the boosts and their lack of speed, even the fast ones, I can run ahead and rest, run ahead and rest. And as we've already found, a majority of that spawn, of the wave, will despawn. Eventually, they will despawn, as we've already seen. So, it doesn't really even matter if it was 10 times that many chasing me. The only thing that's going to kill me in the end there is food. <laughs> Just not having enough food and some basic, very basic resources. So, we can try that. We can see just how many nights I go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Running, running, running. Trying to build at the base. Trying to get the base big enough to handle some of the horde. But inevitably, just running and running and running and running and running. Personally, I think the developer needs to ease off some of the, the spawn pressure. As in how quickly it grows. But maybe tweak a little bit of speed on a few of them. To make it so that you can hold the base longer. But leaving the base and kiting is also slightly riskier. Because some of those are going to be closer on your heels than they currently are. I don't mean like catching you up. But I mean maybe only slightly slower than you. So that time you get to rest and think is slightly less, which makes a rash decisions. And rash decisions make mistakes and you're going to run into the wrong stuff and get yourself killed. Um, that's my, my thought on the matter. But we will see. I will do my best to... Um, to do what I can to live as many nights as I can. But I will also be looking to see what else we can stream on the show. So that we've got cool stuff on the channel at all times. Another game that's current and topical and interesting for everybody to watch. I'm still trying to decide what that next game will be. So, yet again, leave comments what games you think you would like to see. And the one I'm starting to see with the most comments is probably going to be the one that I will then purchase. And we can see, well, what I, what I come up with. Because you know I won't just play the game. You can guarantee I'm not going to just like, yeah, I'll just play the game. I'll think of something strange. <laughs> I'll go, right, I'm going to play the game, but I'm only going to punch people or something <laughs> It's completely bizarre um, because that's that's kind of like the way I roll is we'll just have a look and come up with something unique or yet again I'll, I'll play uh, as long as I can without a single death this that's what this this series is by the way um, for those who haven't seen anything in this series uh, play play death zero lots of zombies dead blah 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 and the trouble is with seven days to die is yes I can log out I can change the whole server to have like no zombies in it uh and all this other stupid stuff um but that's that's just not me yeah I, for those who have followed this series at all they'll know that's just not me um i will take it as it comes uh including the zombie bear that's over there uh yeah i'll i'll, I'll just i'm not interested in trying to uh like fool my audience no 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 that's that's not the goal um so yes this is where we are we're currently on wave 63 single life i've built a base around a water stanchion when i first got to the desert so it just made life really easy i made a then a platform base which is one of the i mean the basic design bases really on stilts makes life easy 
Um, I have started to dig a trench that will go down to ridiculous depths. Um, I've, I've got a little trench there on the surface, but underneath I've started to also dig from below. Um, so when they eventually meet up, it'll be a, a trench deep enough that the zombies shouldn't survive when they fall in. But that's a that's a long project, a very long project. The resources I've used, we're in the desert. The desert has some key resources. Uh, the one it has the most of is fuel. There's plenty of fuel in the desert that you can get the shale uh, oil and refine it into fuel. So because fuel is in such abundance, then electricity is my main form of defense. So there are a lot of electric fences on this defense. Yeah. And the lights you can see when I turn this on, <laughs> when I actually turn the power on, bonk, the lights you can see in here glowing, they're to tell me that the various circuits are actually on and functional. If some of those lights go off, I know that some of the circuits have been broken. Um, not that I really care anymore, but there was a point whereby checking to make sure all circuits were on and lit was was a key thing let's turn them back off i'm gonna waste fuel so when we get to the wave uh shortly it'll just be a case of lots of things getting electrocuted which means they become static and while they're static i will be doing my best to headshots there's a lot of them uh, the only other thing that's annoying in the desert is an awful lot of vultures. So the whole ceiling is also reinforced concrete to stop vultures coming in because they are so annoying. But that that that's that's it. Um, if this series had gone on to like you know wave you know hundred and something stupid, then this base I have here would not be enough. It would need to be continually upgraded but this is a nice base for this stage of the game as you can see in the, in the top right of the screen i'm also playing on a map where no trader so not only is this iron man i can't go off to some shop and sell him a load of junk and then buy cool stuff in return or even worse, for him to give me a quest that's just like, oh yeah, I'll go over here and I'll dig something up. And then, oh look, loads of treasure. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Uh, there's no freebies on, on this playthrough. Um, if I want something, I'm going to have to go into a house and clear it out. And by day 63, the houses are full of um, ferals, which means you know, they sprint all the time. they got the red eyes. Um, some exploding, you know, fat man zombies and stuff. So, <laughs> going into houses now and clearing them out is is something that takes a bit of tactics and time and careful clearing. Uh, and I might do a house or maybe two houses in a day and come out the other end of it with sometimes nothing. A few bullets, you know, not 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 a lot of resources just because of the difficulty and some kind of building like that one over there that's just full of zombies i have cleared out some of that a couple of times but whoa, 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 whoa. building of that size at this stage of the game <laughs> that's just crazy anyway so for the people who have been watching my seven days to die series i'm going to skip forward now to the action for those who haven't been watching my Seven Days to Die series, I mean, it's, it's fine. <laughs> this, is, this is just almost like a chance for you to have a little catch up with what I'm doing without me actually playing Night of the Dead at the same time as me telling you this, which in turn means that I'm not thinking about my next plan ahead in, in Night of the Dead. I need a... I need to sleep on it a little bit and just think what what's next for night, night of the Dead. Do I just continue to kite like a loony every night and build up the base? But the base I don't think is ever going to take up the whole wave. 
unless I can do a lot of exploring and gain a lot more materials. But then if I'm kiting, that's a chunk of the day. Because you also need to repair everything you've got. Hmm. I need to think. I need to think. <laughs> um, and this doesn't take me long, so I'm just popping this out now, the seven days to die. And I'll probably be reading the comments for the rest of the night. So anybody who comments on my videos, I will be reading and responding as best I can. But uh, yes, I'll see you all tomorrow. UK time tomorrow. Uh, see you all tomorrow for the next wave of Night of the Dead. And hopefully, I have a cutting plan that doesn't involve cake. <laughs> so, I'll see you all in a minute. Okay, we're back and it's time for some crazy electric fun. <laughs> Let's see how many zombies we can fry on the fences. Which direction are they going to come from? Oh, I hear some more to that side. Yeah, this side. Spit there somewhere, somebody's spitting at me. Dootin dootin do shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> I love electricity. Causes absolute mayhem here. We got a soldier down there somewhere with some extra armor on. I think I heard my um heard I heard, I heard my um oh my robot thingy above my uh i can't even remember what it's called now my sentry gun above trying to pop off its at uh, the bird just now okay i've got them coming in the other direction i need to keep an eye on that What are they doing over here? Ah, oh, just the odd one. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, electricity is such a laugh. Oh, there's a glowing one. We got a glowing, a glowing spider. That'll be fun. He's in there somewhere. Honest. Oh, that's a bird. Yeah, there's a bird above me. The glowing spider, I think, then. Oh, I love it. I still think that glowing spider is in there causing a problem.
try and kill that spider off. Got him. I'll check, make sure there's none in the base. If there's any in the base. I mean, they can't do any damage if they get in this base. But I don't like them in my base. Hear that vulture going crazy. Need my automated turret up there to get rid of the damn thing. Why isn't my automated turret getting rid of it? Oh, it's out of ammo. Okay, no worries. I'm not gonna worry about a vulture getting through. Maybe I didn't restock the ammo on my automated turret. That might be it. Might be the issue. Oh, we've got a toxic in the base. Toxic spider. There's electricity in the base, so I'll blow his leg off. He's dead. Yes, I've got electricity running inside the base as well as out. <laughs> so if they make it in, well, up yourself. How are we doing for ammo? Yeah, we're fine. I've got a rifle on me as well, should I want to switch to a rifle? I've got the um, AK-47s and all the rest of it, but I don't want to be wasting ammo on on this. It's, it's not, not a difficult shot. Oh, it's under the wall. Get off the wall. Some bird trying to get through the wall quite successfully there. They're clipping. Take his head clean off. Yeah, okay. Some over there. Yeah, there's electricity all over the place, folks. <laughs> I don't care where they run to. There's electricity. Go on, get back on my electric wall. Excuse me, bird. Where are you? I'm destroying some of my spikes here. Stupid vulture. <laughs> when I didn't have a reinforced concrete ceiling, oh, three or four vultures would just make a mess.
Stop messing with my electricity. I have plenty of fuel. <laughs> More than enough to fuel all of you stupid zombies. Oh, here comes another radioactive. How are we doing? 500 ammo. Yeah, guns in a good shape. Looking good. Just annoying. Um, anything damaged? Nah. I've been lucky with the spitters so far. Not many acid healers. Wave is still on the go. Plenty of wave left yet, I think. Where are they? I can hear my electricity, I can't see you. Where are you? Right here? Yeah. Okay, we've got another. Thank you. Don't want any clever ones like that going around. Some more spikes breaking down there. Although I do get experience if I just let the electricity kill them. I get more experience if I finish them off myself. I can hear you all on spikes, but... I can't really get the angle on that one then, can I? After playing Night of the Dead, this is such a relaxing time. <laughs> no crazy running around. Those vultures are so annoying. Let's take a headshot. Will he take two headshots? No, he won't.
So, for those who haven't played Seven Days to Die, one of the nice things is it's got locational damage, and you can train it to do extra damage from headshots. So, the ability to make your target static by electricity makes headshots, like, <laughs> not so easy. <laughs> I mean... Just train it up for extra damage to the head and then just line him up. I did hear another spider down there somewhere. There is another spider somewhere. Was that spider? Yeah, better angle than her. You might be worried if you haven't watched the series about them taking out one of my support posts and the whole thing collapsing. Um, that's not one support post. Each support post is five support posts because they're covered with um, uh, like boarding concrete. So they gotta take down five reinforced concrete pillars just for one leg. And I built the base to survive with several legs missing. So they would have actually have to do something like get rid of about 15 legs worth of damage to drop my base. And still they keep coming. In Seven Days to Die, you've got two things. You have got the spawn will end after a certain period of time. And you can almost wait the spawn out. But the spawn will also end after a certain number of kills. Now, on Night 63, I'm not going to get a certain number of kills with a pistol. So we do have to wait the night day, which is almost over. Almost over. It, it'll stop in a minute. <laughs> it's dying on spikes. There we go. The night is over. The vulture will go away. Thankfully, and these few zombies that are left will just stagger around stupidly. <laughs> That's it. Okay, well, um, for all of my Seven Days to Die fans, that, that's it. That was night 63, wave 63. I can I'll turn the electricity off. No, need to waste more power. Um, that was Blood Moon 63, done and dusted. Uh, Blood Moon 70, I'm afraid, unless there's a sudden outcry with everybody saying, we want more, is probably not going to happen um, for a very long time. Probably by the time we're on a different Alpha, to be honest. We won't be on Alpha 19, we'll probably be on Alpha 20 by the time we actually get to do anything else. And even if we do get an outcry for people wanting more, you have to realise it takes seven hours straight playing to get to the next Blood Moon. Seven hours straight. So that's probably two days playing for me to get one video at best. I mean, uh, that's... It, it, it's... It takes a lot of time if I'm just showing off Blood Moons, which is what this was. This was going to be Blood Moon 70 would have been the next in the series. So unless people want to see each day which I did do at the very beginning of the series, but that's pretty boring. I'm just walking around clearing houses. I mean, you can watch it if you want, but a lot of that is just, you know, harvesting resources. So anyway, thank you very much uh, for all of you who liked the 70s to die series. Uh, we left it on a nice 
uh electric 63 episode <laughs> okay see you all next time bye